Hey everybody. Okay, so um, I'm officially back. It's been a long time, y'all. Okay, so let me first off um, start off by saying thank you to everybody who contacted me and let me know that you guys were thinking about me. You wanted me to come back to make videos. And I just had to take a step back because I had a lot going on with me personally and with my family. So first things first, um, I've been going through the process of getting Isaiah, which is my four-year-old son, um, diagnosed with autism. So he is officially diagnosed and he is on the autism spectrum. And he is uh, definitely high functioning. He's His speech is delayed. If you guys recall, I did a video last year seeing like questioning was he autistic or not. And he is. So it took us a whole year, but we're finally here and we have a diagnosis. And so now we're going to move forward. We're going to go forward with his therapies and his treatments. Um, luckily for me, he doesn't have any behavioral problems. So our main focus is um, with our physician and with... Um, well, the, our particular, well, his pediatrician is that his speech is delayed. We want him to actually be able to carry on a conversation because he can repeat um, something to you very well. He understand, he can speak, he can talk. It's just that his language, as far as conversation and interacting with other people, um, having a conversation with me, he can't tell me how his day was. He'll say, he'll repeat what I say. I'll be like, I say, how was your day? He goes, how was your day? And he'll say it exactly the same way I say it. And I'm like, no, son, tell me, what did you do? And then he'll give me like one word sentences like slide. Uh, play outside and then he'll say I got on the he won't say he won't say I got on the slide he'll say slide and swing you know and he'll demonstrate what he was on swing and I was kind of mentally prepared because you know I did the video last year and I could clearly see the signs that he may or may not well something was wrong so we, we went about the proper way and he has been officially diagnosed so only thing he has is speech speech delay so we're putting him in speech therapy um, we are enrolling him in kindergarten this year because he's very capable of doing the work. <laughs> he's actually maybe smarter than Amir. Um, he can read, he can write. Um, he's just, he's just going to be a little socially awkward, which is fine because I'm socially awkward. And <laughs> I am. If you guys, my husband says it all the time. So he's like, you just don't like people. I'm like, no, I'd rather be by myself. I need a lot of time from them. Like this little woman cave I have, I had this in place for me specifically. So I don't have to deal with them all the time. And I come in here peri periodically throughout the day and just sit. And I'll watch a YouTube video or I'll read an article or I'll just sit in quiet and just reflect on my day. I just need my space. <laughs> he was joking around me. He's like, you may have autism. I'm like, you know what? If I do whatever and I might be an Aspie, whatever. I'm not going to put that out there. I'm not going to say that I am, but you never know. So um, he's definitely high functioning and... I asked her, I said, so is this, he has autism and your main thing is because his language is delayed. So that's why we diagnosed him with that. Um, he has very good eye contact, um, social interaction. If you ask him something, he'll, he'll engage you, but he won't come up to you and start talking to you. And like, I won't walk up to people and start talking to them either. I had to ask my mom how I was as a kid because they are trying to say, see if autism is genetic, some type of genetic thing or path, path of, um, you know, pathology thing. And it's a process, guys, but it's not about me. It's about him, and he's going to be good. He's going to do great things. Um, Right now, he's in baseball with his brothers, and I love my baby. And I remember having him in the hospital. Um, He came a month before my wedding because he we got engaged, and then I got pregnant. So he was due a month before my wedding. I had already purchased my dress. It was being made, and so when I got it out, um, after I had him, I had to get it taken out like by three sizes. That was huge. That I was a big girl as far as I was thick. But he came out. He was perfect. He didn't cry. He was the prettiest little chocolate little drop baby. And he nursed. He latched on good. I had no problems breastfeeding him. I think I breastfed him the longest. Um, if Mal if I don't breastfeed Malachi past 14 months, I last breastfed him for 14 months. Amir and Eli, I stopped right at 12 months. And it's only because I became pregnant with <laughs> another kid. God, these kids around here. But yeah, um, so that's basically what that is. And then I went through that rut with the YouTube thing where, you know, I was feeling some type of way about me being on YouTube since 2008. I'm coming up on five years, September 2008, since I've had my YouTube channel. And, you know, it was just a little discouraging seeing people who came after me just supersede me. And I'm not hating because I'm subscribed to a lot of those girls and I love them. We um, chit chat via Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you know. 
well, I have nothing but good things to say about those ladies. But, you know, I was just, well, with that being said, I'm not going to say but. But with that being, <laughs> and with that being said, I was, I guess I'm still just waiting for my little time. <laughs> but whatever, guys. Um. So, yeah. Um. Now that I'm back, though, I won't be making videos as frequently. I, I won't be gone for, like, weeks at a time, though. But maybe once or twice a week, I put up a video. Um, if not, just to talk about what's going on with Isaiah, um, because dealing with the autistic child is for me, I haven't had any bad experiences with it. And I deal with him as like I do with the other children and I, I do spank my kids, but it takes a lot for me to have to spank them. So we do the time out. We do the take away the things that they like to do, um, watching TV or eating a particular snack. Like, no, you can't have that dessert. You can have this. Or, no, you can't have this particular juice. You can drink water, you know, because it's a privilege. So that seems to be working. But he's really a well-behaved kid other than the fact that they jump off my furniture. But they're boys. And I would be concerned if they didn't do stuff like that. They, yeah. So, yes, yeah, basically. Oh, for my hair. Um, it's so it's the same hair I had. I only had this little horseshoe out. Girl, I get bored with my hair. I think I went seven or whole, seven or eight whole months without straightening my hair. No, I'm lying, girl. Six months without straightening my hair. I'm over it. So I put this in, girl. And I tried to blend it. And it's interesting because you see my head still red at the roots. Hold on. It's like a little reddish tint, and on the end of this hair is red. So we're bleeding real nice. I post a picture on Instagram just to, just to see if I can get away with it. Everyone's like, oh, you're that long, girl. It don't grow. I said, yeah, it grew. Thank you. But <laughs> that's basically it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, So I just want to update you guys while I was gone. I've been dealing with getting my son diagnosed with autism, and we're going to go forward with that. And, yeah, so I'm going to go because I'm rambling. I've had to pick up a mirror from school. Oh, I would bring Malachi, but he's asleep. Y'all see him soon. That thing got three teeth. He got two on the bottom and one on the top. So he's like, his top tooth is snacking. You know they usually go in twos, growing twos. And he's so thick. Them little legs is as thick as they want to be. Let me see if I post a picture of him. He's a little fat stuff. So, yes, I am a fat man. Okay, so here's a picture of Malachi. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this picture. I'm just in the layer. But you can see how fat that looks. Yes, he means a chunky butt. And yes, he's still breastfed. Girl, he loves the titty. I'm going to have problems weaning him. I already know. But, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye. Thank you guys again for subscribing and sticking with me and checking in on me. Like, girl, where you at? I need to see a video. It's a, it's a drought out here. I need to see something. Somebody need to make me laugh. And I'm here. So, uh, bye.